and welcome back to Citizen Pew. This is Citizen Pew Commentary. Today I'm going to be doing a product review on a product from Core Essentials. And they have sent me a belt. It's a X5 buckle black tactical gun belt. They also sent me a belt hanger and a belt protective sleeve um, from one of their product lines. And I will be covering my review of that in the coming minutes. So uh, before we get started, let's go ahead and look at Core Essentials webpage. It's a pretty nice webpage. I was uh, I was impressed, nicely laid out. And um, the gun belt I received is from their EDC gear line. And you know, if you click on it, it'll take you to their products. Um, they have various ratings, uh, different colors of uh, belts, different buckle styles. You name it. It's act, there's actually quite a bit of selection. I was I was really impressed with that. So there you go. Um, so it's Core Essentials, K O R E E S S E N T I A L S dot com. Core Essentials. Core spelled with a K. Um, so yeah, I I went through their website and and. Uh, a lot of neat stuff so um, we'll see you know I waited for the belt and we'll see how it it, it did um, so I'll show you here real quick this is the belt this is the buckle um, and they do have a system here their belts are unique where they have a teeth system uh, to, to, to secure the belt on you and make sure you can hear that and it ratchets on <clears throat> and it actually holds really really good I was really impressed um, and uh, the buckle I tell you what the buckle is just heavy duty um, really really heavy duty material there uh, it's solid it feels solid everything and the belt is nice too it, it holds its shape um, very sturdy uh, I'll show you some footage of me wearing um, various harnesses with it here shortly but um, the one thing about the belt is it does, you do have to cut it to length. It has markings on the back um, so that you can cut it and then you take these screws out, clamp it down once it's to length and can put it on. So let's go ahead and um, I got some footage of the various stages, I guess you could say, of me trying this out. Um, so let me go ahead and show some of that so this is uh this is what that came in it came in a nice box the box is actually uh, it's all packaged really well i was really impressed with the packaging um and um of course you know i got the packing slip which tells you what i got i gotta get something over here <clears throat> um it comes with a set of instructions and everything's nicely packed in there organized um yeah, it's, it's, I'll say the presentation when I opened the box, I was impressed. I was really impressed. So, um, one thing I wanted to cover, um, I honestly don't have too much to criticize them about, um, as far as the presentation. Um, everything was nice. You know, their, their little instruction manual here is, 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 is really nice too. The, uh, I will say the only thing that I didn't like, and this is just me, maybe as an engineer, um, now, as an engineer, I do use acronyms all the time, but I'm a stickler when you have them in a technical document that somewhere in the technical document you explain what the acronym is for those who don't know. And there is a step in here where it says when you cut your belt to size that you uh, add four inches to your waist size and then um, that's the mark you cut on. So if you're a 38, you would cut it uh, 42 now it says for IWB add six inches so uh, IWB would be in inner waist um, you know uh, inside waist band or whatever uh, basically you're going to be carrying your harness inside your waist is is um, is what that is so there's IWB and OWB and um, you know I'm not an acronym person uh, as far as this acronym so I was sitting there going what is IWB and OWB and I had to think about it for a little bit but for somebody who isn't familiar with it, they might just see the four inches and go on. Um, so I wear um, firearms concealed both inside and outside of my waist. So 
um, I went ahead and did the six, added six inches. So I am a 38, so I added six inches, which is where I cut the belt using the, um, the pre-marked steps here. Um, oops, sorry, wrong side. And went to 44, cut it, and mounted it to the buckle. And it fits perfect. It fits perfect if I'm using an inside uh, holster or an outside holster. But um, just be aware of that. Um, if you um, just be aware of that, you know, if you're going to be an inside the waist carrier, you need to add six inches, not four. So that, that's my, you know, maybe that's just me nitpicking, but that's my little bit of criticism. You know, um, maybe do a little bit of explaining there because if you do cut the belt, um, their return policy uh, says here cut belts are only eligible for 80% refund. So you don't want to cut it too short. So four inches if you're not going to wear it inside your belt. Six inches if you are is um, is is what I'm gathering for that. And, you know, like I said, maybe they could save some, some grief by clarifying that a little bit more. But, like I said, as an engineer, I, I deal with having to write instructions for other people and... Um, and, and, and stuff like that so uh, sometimes it's 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 just better to go ahead and throw that extra verbiage in there maybe only one person out of a thousand uses it but you know it, it is what it is so let's move on <clears throat> so give me just a second here all right so I do want to cover the assembly a little bit so let's go back to this this is when I started putting it together so you do have to take these screws out and um, you can see the teeth there on the the, the clasp of the buckle um, or whatever you call it I tell you what it digs in to the belt really good I mean and then you put the screws back in and it, it just has it locked down it, it is not going anywhere so I will I will give them uh, kudos on that this thing is secure from both the side that you uh, attach the belt to the buckle and from these uh, locking teeth mechanisms, I tell you what, I'm, yeah, I, and I, I, you know, I've never used one of their belts before, and uh, once this was sent to me, and I started wearing it around, asking people about uh, what they thought, I found some people uh, I knew have been using their belts, and they, they had nothing but good things to say about it, so, you know, that really, um, that really spoke a lot about the product so as you can see there i'm tightening tightening it up it's uh yep there we go i latch it down and those teeth dig right in and then you just uh you just screw the screws down until they're flush and you're good to go so yep all right um so one thing I did do was there was some extra piece, right? You cut off um, what you don't need for the belt and you'll have a little strip left over. And I was like, you know, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to play with it. I wanted to see, you know, the material on it is really good. It's, it's really solid material. And you can see in the description there what, uh, how they describe this material. But um, this, this side here is, is like a nylon here. And then you can see in here, hopefully, there's a core. There's a core, and then there's the backside material. Um, and it's meshed together, and there's stitching. The stitching is really nice. I was impressed with the stitching. It's really tight and everything. And I wanted to know if the stitching was going to hold up. So this one, you can see I've cut it up a little bit. I, had, I took a knife to it. I took a file to it. And... Um, I was just trying to I was just trying to see what it would take to damage it and honestly um, I you know with just with a with a pocket knife and a, and a small file I was wanting to see if it would fringe and fray and I had to do a lot of work to get it into this condition so um, I don't know how much wear and tear I simulated but to me I felt like I simulated enough to know that this belt is not going to um, lose its nice appearance anytime soon so um like i said it, it held up really good when i when i just started i was like ah, i'm gonna tear it up and uh i tell you what it held up really good i was uh i was impressed so the other thing that sent me was this hanger 
And I wanted to talk about this hanger because uh, it, it actually uh, holds the belt really well. And this is a two belt holder, which <laughs> I've already been looking. I'm going to get me a second belt. Um, but it uses the little clip in here and it just slides in and, and it holds it right like that. So you hang it in your closet or whatever and you got and you can hold two of them. So um, really nice, really nice uh, hanger. I would suggest if you um, buy one of their products that you definitely get the hanger. Now, with that said, I did go to one of my local gun stores that I shop at regularly and I didn't even know it. They carry Corey Central belts and they have their belts on display and they come on a hanger similar to this, but it's a single belt hanger and it has a spot for this Allen wrench that comes with it for those screws. It has a spot for that Allen wrench to go on that single belt hanger. I was like, man, that's awesome. So, um, not really a, a, uh, a hit on Corey Essentials, but a recommendation would be, man, it would really be nice to have a place to put that Allen wrench on this. Just, just, you know, uh, like I said, not a criticism, but in the future, that would be awesome. Um, like I said, I saw it on the single belt, um, ones that were hanging at the gun store. And, um, I thought, yeah, there you go. Um, now a couple other things that came with the, the belt. Uh, one was this, um, Velcro strap and this is for if you're um, you know it, it, let's say you cut it six inches long and you're not wearing uh, a firearm at the time or maybe you're using uh, an exterior holster um, then you can use this strap if the you know if it goes past the belt loop too much um, honestly uh, I tried it with um, even my worst pair of pants to, 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 wear, uh, to wear concealed with and um, I, I didn't need it. So even if I was wearing inside the holster, outside the holster, um, the, that belt on those pair of pants, the belt loop lined up and all the other pairs of pants I did, it lined up fine too. So um, I probably won't use this, but depending on what kind of pants you wear, you might need it. Now, the other thing they sent me was um, this belt protector sleeve. And honestly, I tell you what, after doing this abrasion test on this spare piece and stuff like that, um, I don't think I'll actually use this. Um, I might down the line, if I do see some wear coming, I'll slide it on and maybe put it in, in place on the belt where my holster might hook onto more often. Or if I get a pair of pants where I don't have enough belt loop close, I could use it there. Um, so as far as the belt sleeve protector, I, the belt is so durable. I honestly, I don't know if I would order this. Um, but you know, maybe you have a use for it. Um, maybe, maybe, maybe not. Um, I just, I didn't, I didn't use it uh, wearing the belt for the, the week I've had it now. Um, I didn't use it, but I will say, you know, I mean, it's, it's good quality. Um, so, you know, if you would use it, maybe leave a comment. Tell other people why you would use this or why you wouldn't. Um, I particularly didn't need it. So that's just me. But it is available if you want it. And for some people, maybe you're used to belts and you use these and, and you want it. So they got it available if you, if you do desire it. So um, let's look at some uh, footage of me wearing... Um, the belt with different holsters now uh i took the 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 first day I, I put on holsters i just i grabbed my like i said i grabbed the jeans that i uh are, are hardest for me to carry with and it's and it's because of where the belt loops are and uh i wanted to try it out i wanted to see if the stiffness stiffness of the belt was going to help me and i'll tell you what it did it dramatically did having a belt this stiff this is a lot stiffer than than my, my current belt and um and it, it, it made the difference. Missing a belt loop um, really was not a big deal. So, um, all right. Let me find that and we'll get looking at it. All right. So, here we go. Now, I'm not the most in shape person. Just letting you know. So, uh, you know, cut me some slack there. Um, but for any of you who are um, more husky, I don't know what the word is to say that's polite. Um, you know, maybe this will... Uh, Give you some ideas and for you uh, nice thin folks you know especially the younger uh people 
Um, yeah, you know, this is what you got to look forward to. But I think the belt works great for my size. And um, so let me get that going here. And there we are. All right, so this is my 1911, and I have it in a leather holster. And on this, with this particular holster, I actually miss a belt loop. And you can see there, um, you know, I get a little bit of movement on these jeans. And like I said, I normally don't wear these jeans and carry, but I wanted to give it the full rundown. And so, like I said, I needed a pair of jeans that allowed me to miss a belt loop with the holster. And, um, and it actually does really good. It, it holds the holster on. That leather holster grips that gun so much because there's no other retention um, on it at all. So... Um, now you're going to see here, um, okay, so here's the non-leather holster for my 1911 and it has a button release and you can see that this one, um, has even, it's even more sturdy and I'm shaking it really good, really good. So, um, yeah. So I, like I said, the belt has enough stiffness that you miss the belt loop, um, because of the way your pants are laid out you're going to be golden. You're going to be golden. Now, in some other uh, pairs of pants that I wore, the belt loops are perfect for the holsters I have. So I can't even, I mean, it did good with these pair of pants. I'm just going to tell you, it did awesome with the other pairs. So, um, and you can see there when I had the, uh, when I turned the other way, the belt does extend a little bit further out than maybe you would like because I cut it for the inside the waistband one. But, um, you know, I, I'd rather have the flexibility of both. So, all right, here we go. This is inside waistband, and you can see there. Yep. I should pull it out, and you'll see the draw here in a second. There we go. Yeah. So, nice and snug. However you want to hold it. I have some that go in the small of the back, but I think all I did was was um, on the on the side. Um, with with this one so yeah yeah <laughs> pat myself on the tummy anyhow um so that one did really well too and now here's an old lcp now this is a paddle type and i wanted to see how it did with a paddle type um which doesn't actually really hook to the belt um but i wanted to make sure it would go around the belt and still hold well and it does and you can actually see it's the paddle grip part that's actually um not holding well the belt did fine, stayed in place. Um, I was impressed. Um, that's not one of my preferred holsters. It's just a little LCP, but I have it in case I need it. Uh, but it was something I could try and, and, and test with it. And like I said, you can see the belt just holding really good. Um, the holster though, yeah, you know, it's a low end holster. I'll just say that. And here I do a circle around so you can see how well the belt's holding up. All right. Uh, I should have a couple more here for us to look at. Yep. Okay. This is a Bursa Thunder uh, 380. And this is a very low profile holster. It was like, I, I bought it just to test it out. It was like an $8 holster. All it does is basically hold the barrel. It's a little thing that goes into the barrel. But I wanted to see with the rigidness of the belt, it really helped that super low profile holster hold that gun in place. Um, and there you can see that's what it is that's all it was but you really need a stiff belt for that holster and this belt this belt's rigidness really really did a good job um holding it in place uh i bought that thing it was super cheap i wanted to try it out just to give it a shot and i never have used it because it just it it moves around way too much but with this belt man it held it right in place right in place so anyhow um th this is my review guys um i tell you what this is this is <laughs> this is now my like my favorite belt um and like i said i've already got another one picked out um i'm probably gonna get one that's not as uh heavy duty rated they have them of various weight capacities and stuff like that various uh sizes and i'm gonna get one a little bit more dressy doesn't hold such a, a high weight um, for, you know, more casual events, um, events where I might be having a smaller firearm on me or, or, uh, in case I'm at somewhere where I'm not carrying at all, but I do like the belt design. It's awesome. Um, this buckle is just so heavy duty. Um, like I said, I haven't had any complaints. The ratchet system is awesome. 
Um, as far as the belt and the belt functionality, um, I'm 100% recommending it. I, I mean, honestly, it is just nice. Um, and I really appreciate Core Essentials giving me the shot at doing this review because I, I honestly, I don't know how long it would have taken me to find this product. Um, I'm not one that normally focuses a lot on my attire pieces. I'm always focused on, you know, many of us are. We're always focused on our firearms and our firearm accessories related to them. Um, and sometimes we forget about, you know, um, the clothing apparel that we need to be effective at carrying uh, and stuff like that. So, again, thank you, Core Essentials, for this opportunity. Um, and like I said, if you have a Core Essentials belt uh, or product, uh, let us know what you think. Put a comment in the comment section if you've seen them around or anything. Um, you know, I'd, I'd be interested to know what your thoughts are. Personally, um, yeah, it, it's going to be my new belt. Um, I'm really digging it. So, um, yeah, that's my review. Um, I had the small criticism of the instruction manual um, with the uh, acronym. Like I said, from my perspective as an engineer, I usually like to have expl explanations of what acronyms are in my documentation so you know that's the recommendation i'm not going to hit it too hard for it the other thing was uh on your double um belt hangers it'd be really cool to be able to put this allen wrench somewhere in there so you don't have to worry about having another bag with it um just an idea so um that's my feedback for it um again y'all tell me what you think leave a comment in the comment section give the video a thumbs up if you liked it and once again Thank you for watching.